I have created a few versions of the Christmas card that I would like to share with you, but in this particular video, we're going to focus on the Christmas tree card. Now, the reason that I started with a black and white background is the envelopes that I am making this card to put in have a black interior. So I kind of started with the envelope and created the card to accommodate the envelope that I am placing this particular piece in. I am not a card maker, but I hope you will join me as we try to create these. My name is Pig and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel and of course the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. To create these cards, I first cut just plain white cardstock, seven and a half inches in width and eight and three quarters inch in height. And I wanted to get a background laid down on them. So I chose a gray tone and started by just adding some color with some music notes. So this is a Payne's gray or gray tone. I utilize the stencil of the music notes and I'm just creating a background. Once I have that background down, I'm coming back in with black ink and just adding some additional stenciling for some additional noise on the background of the card. I'm using a large lid to put some circular shapes and I think I'm happy with how that's turning out so I will do that on each that I have cut and I am trying to get, you know, half a dozen or more cards created just in this format. My goal is to do several videos with several different types of cards. Once I have my backgrounds all laid down, I'm just circling back around and inking up all of the edges so you don't have that stark white edge of the paper showing when the card is complete. And there you go. There are the backgrounds that we have complete. And those are all dry. And we'll set those aside. And I want to create just some decoration for the front of that card. So I'm pulling in some additional cardstock, laying down an iridescent white, and putting just a bit of a background down, letting that get dry to the touch and laying down my second color, which is going to be that crimson Christmas red. And I've added some stencils to that. And there we have some, some nice red paper to work with to create our Christmas trees for the front cover. And we'll just create a few more of those working with the iridescent white, the red, just stenciling here and there to create some interest. I'm going to add a bit of phalo green, a little Christmas green, some Christmas red. And there's another piece that we can work with for, for the trees we're going to create. And I just want to clean the plate off. We'll save this, probably use it for a stump or something. I'm going to take the baby wipe and wipe off my press because I want to come back in with some more or an additional color. So I I'm laying down this transparent gold or gold tone. It's antique gold. And I thought that would look nice on top of the red and the green. I'm going to put a bit of red to pull that gold. Add a little more detail to that red. And let's see how this turns out. Ah, I like that. Gives it a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a shine.
You will come back with some more gold. And again, play with the colors that you choose. I am just trying to create some gel press printed papers to use to cut the Christmas trees. And there's another one. I'm not sure I like that one real well, but we'll set it aside and let it dry and maybe add something else to it. We'll see. We'll see what we wind up with here at the end. Just a little red, a little green. Some dots. Lay our paper down. Ooh, I like that. And I like that one as well. You know, you, you just get quite a bit of variation when you're using the gel press. They're all mono prints, nothing is the same. So here's some more of that iridescent white. And we'll just add a little bit of white to some of these prints to lighten them up a bit. I like that. So I think we have enough now to create our trees. So I'm just sticking these pieces of cardstock that I have printed on the gel press into my Frisker's cutting tool. And I am creating a triangular cut. So I'm just taking the paper and slanting it so that it cuts in that triangle form. And I'm just rotating the paper back and forth to get the most out of each piece. Now we have all of those cut. Now let's just position them on the card. So these will become our Christmas trees. I'm going to go around and cover that white border with the ink. And I'm going to ink them up with some gold and, and some black as well. And there are three trees laid out side by side for the front of this card. Now I decided to come back with some more black to give it more definition and more depth. Now I'm just going to position this where I want it so I know where to glue and I know where to cut off, cut off the edges. I'm just going to kind of glue these together to give me a one piece to work with. And just cut that off but across the bottom and flush that up to the bottom and there you have three little trees sitting on the front of the card. So I'm going to go through all of these backgrounds that I've created in this black and white and I'm going to showcase my printed gel press prints that I've cut in triangular forms in different ways on each card. So I might put one with a little tree stump here. You can see I'm doing that on this one. I may choose to cut the triangular piece into multiple pieces and glue it to the front that way. I may choose two to put on the front of the card, but we're going to use the pieces that we have printed and cut into triangular forms and represent them as trees in different ways on each of these backgrounds. And there you have kind of the finished gluing, if you will. And now to add some additional definition, I'm going to add some snowflakes 
to this particular card and I come back in and emboss those snowflakes with a silver. And now I'm going to outline. I've decided I like the way that embossing looks. So I'm going to outline each of these trees. I'm going to outline it first with a Stabilo All pencil and give me, you know, kind of give each of these a little bit of definition. I have buttons that I am sewing to the top as my tree topper. On this particular card, I use buttons on some. I have some little silver um, pieces that I had ordered years ago when I was making jewelry that I was going to use for something, and I found out that they melted in a heartbeat when I hit them with my torch, so I never really had any use for them. They weren't silver like I thought they were. They were some sort of substrate that melts when you hit it with heat. So I thought it would be better for the cards. And then I'm going to go around and outline each of the trees with my embossing pen and then coat that outline with embossing powder and bring that up to a high finish or a glossy finish with my heat tool. And I really like the way this is looking. It gives some really nice definition to the front of the card and just gives it a little sparkle, a little shine, a very easy way to finish this. So on this particular card, I have the three Christmas trees with the gel press printed paper I've sewed buttons on to the top of each tree and then finished it off with the embossing. On this particular card, I'm using just some, these were some plastic little gears that I had. I'm going to glue one of those to the top of the tree, and I'll use that on several different cards. And I'm going to go around and emboss each card around the Christmas tree, the outline of the Christmas tree. I've taken, cut the triangular shape with the gel press pen, printed paper, defined the outline of it with the Stabilo All, going back in with a tree topper out of some sort of trinket that I pulled out of the shop, be it a washer, a button, a, a little gear, and adding some, you know, just a little flare to the top of the tree. Now for the sentiment, I will be stamping a piece of white cardstock that I've cut slightly smaller than the inside of my card. And I'm stamping that in two colors, red and black. So I'm giving it a red shadow with the um, black on top. I'll go around the outside edge of those and get this glued into the card. I am going to add some snowflakes in just a plain black. And the reason that I chose black and white as my background is the envelopes that I had in stock had a black interior. So I am creating a card that goes with the envelopes that I have in stock. So I'll glue this sentiment down. I'll come back in with some liquid pearls and I have those, I pulled those out in silver and gold. So depending on what color of embossing powder, I'll just decorate up the front of the card and we'll come back after the front dries and decorate that inside cinnamon piece with a couple of stickles. And we will get those all glued in and that final decoration put into place.
And I'm just here stamping those sentiment pieces. Now I'll get all those stamped to get them all glued in. And I'm not a card maker, so, you know, the, the refined detail that a lot of the card making people do, that's just really not my style. I um, am doing the best I can here and creating some Christmas cards to send out this year. I'm not very good at card sending, but I am going to do my best to get some out to my friends and family this year. And I think what I'm going to do is handwrite my little note and um, on some white cardstock, and when I get ready to send them, and put that on that interior flap on the left there. I just felt like that needed some smaller, some smaller snowflakes. And we'll add the liquid pearls on the inside as well. And I think we're getting these dressed up pretty festive. And now we'll decorate the envelope with a snowflake down in the lower right hand corner. We'll get that snowflake put on all of these envelopes and then we'll come back and add just a little merry Christmas cinnamon in the same black ink. There, that fits nicely down in the corner of the envelope. So now it is a black and white. I create it that way because the inside, like I said before, the inside of these envelopes are black. So I think the card will look very nice tucked down in there. And as I said before, I'll add just another sheet of white there on the left side to write a cinnamon on. But I think I'm going to cut it, write the cinnamon, and then glue it. So hopefully I'll get these sent out this year. Thank you for joining me. And once again, here's a rendition of all of the cards that we created. Yeah.